Hello again, uh, it's Peter's from Record. So to follow on from um, the previous video, and we've started to, to have a look at our DML 305 and doing a little bit of maintenance and care for this one. Um, so I've cleaned the bed down, I've done the underside of the uh, tool post and the tailstock, so these transfer over nice and smoothly now. The bed's all nice and clean. So the next little project is to actually clean out the uh, tailstock itself. So it's quite an easy procedure and all you need is either to do it on the machine, you can do it just as well on the machine uh, or in a vice. So first thing I need to do is to take out the, um, the locking lever and we can also take off the hand wheel and at the side of here you've got a, um, you need a 2.5 um, key is to take out the little grub screw which is the anti-rotation screw so it stops your shaft coming out and basically she comes out then the shaft comes out this is a left hand thread on here before I take that to pieces what I'm going to do is just give this a little swill out and by that if I just put it on a little bit of tissue or something I can just clean the inside of the casting out again with a bit of WD-40 this will help to he says get the grease out when it's not working it will be if I put it in the right position so that will help to get some of the muck out of it and I can come back to that now that's the actual shaft itself, so there's a little left hand thread on there, I'm going to take that off. Should have wound it over a bit further first. You get the drift. Give that a little bit of a spray. Down there as well. But what I want to particularly pay attention to is the actual keyways themselves. You've got two obviously, one's the lock and one's your um, anti rotation one. And just make sure these are nice and clean. Where the lock's been going on to, you've got metal on metal on there, so just make sure that's got no uh, bruising on there or pickups in there. You can give that a little trim. Um, this is a high tensile shaft, but uh, you should be able to clean it up quite easily. So I've got a fine file, and what I'll do first, just go over the top, and you'll see any shiny high spots on there. Just, just give that a little clean up, and inside. Just on the side, just gently on the sides, not too hard. I don't want to make it even um, a bit wider than it already is. And again, with a little bit of cloth, emery cloth, wet and dry. Just get down inside and just give that a polish on the sides. So again, it's all nice and tactile to touch. And then just across the top. Again, it was all nice and smooth to the touch, and then back again to the other face. A little bit across the top, not a lot, and then back inside again. And this is just a fine, fine tough file. You can use a, uh, a second cut file, a bit rougher, just be a little bit careful with it that's all. And then I'll turn back up inside again. I'll do the insides first and just over the tops. 
You could do this with a stone as well, so it doesn't have to be an emery cloth. I've got some rubberized stones, and these are really good. So what you can do with that as well, is you can actually, um, the rubberized stones, you actually polish the metal work up a little bit. It gets rid of all that sharp edges. Now I use these on the items like this, cast iron. If you've got a dull spot on your, cast, on your tables, you can also use these. It's a rubberized stone. That really is now, I can re it's really nice and smooth, it's nice and clean. So last, I just want to clean out those bits of dirt that's inside. Get all that nice and clean. attention to the inside and if you get some tissue and just stuff it up you can actually act as like a wiper just to clean in there or a bit of old cloth would do exactly the same just stick it in there and just give it a Pusher, and then take it back out again. Don't have to drag it through all across the thread. And work that around a bit to get rid of all the dust and muck out of it. get all, all the dirt that's inside out from most of it. So that's clean. And I just want to do the casting. just help to clean the inside of the bore out so we'll make it all nice and smooth again. So lastly I want the shaft. Give that a quick once over. Get some of that D40 cleaner off it, it'll just get rid of all the bits of residue on there. I just want a bit of 3-1 oil, not a lot of this, just a little bit. Let's reassemble it. So screw that back into there. Go back up in the hole. So you, you've got your, your markings on the top, so left hand side and your right hand side. Put that in. Just put the anti rotation screw in first. Take that down to the bottom and ease it back. Put the lock screw back in. Back. 
and lastly your hand wheel and then just put that back onto the corresponding flat spot on the top just keep your finger us pressed against it just to keep the excess backlash out of, out of it and you're back and running again that one wasn't in very bad condition at all um, but it gives you an idea how to actually um, take it to pieces and what you're looking to do to it so it's quite a simple procedure to do so that's all up and running again now so that was a nice quick fix what I can do now is put the stop screw back on The stock's nice and fine, it runs up and down the bed really nicely and the action for the tail stack adjustment is nice and smooth now. So that's a quick little fix on our DML305 and that's similar to the um, DML250 as well. So hope that's of use to you and I'll catch up with you again shortly on another little project on, uh, for Record Power on our DML305. See you soon. Cheers. Bye.